to beat Joe Biden in November. I don't believe Donald Trump can beat Joe Biden. Trump drives people away. I feel blessed tonight. I've felt blessed through this entire journey. Even when it's been tough, I haven't lost sight of that. I've felt God's strength and grace every step of the way. I'm blessed to have served the state that raised me. And I look forward to continuing to be blessed to serve the state that raised me, whether it's going and voting with my mom or whether it is um, being with our family. We are very grateful for the good people of South Carolina. Thank you. And it's a blessing to know that across our sweet state, everyone wants to bring back the America we know and love. That's the underlying message of what happened today. I want to congratulate Donald Trump on his victory. And I want to thank the people of South Carolina for using the power of your voice. No matter the results, I love the people of our state. I love what we accomplished together, and I love how we united during our worst challenges and tragedies. Yes. Yes. I've always seen our state as a family. Families are honest with each other. They say the hard truths. That's what I've done this entire campaign. And that's what I'll do now. What I saw today was South Carolina's frustration with our country's direction. I've seen that same frustration nationwide. I share it. I feel it to my core. I couldn't be more worried about America. It seems like our country is falling apart. But here's the thing. America will come apart if we make the wrong choices. This has never been about me or my political future. We need to beat Joe Biden in November. I don't believe Donald Trump can beat Joe Biden. Nearly every day, Trump drives people away including with his comments just yesterday. Today in South Carolina, we're getting around 40% of the vote. That, that's, about what, that's about what we got in New Hampshire, too. I'm going to count it. I know 40% is not 50%. But I also know 40% is not some tiny group. There are huge numbers of voters in our Republican primaries who are saying they want an alternative. I said earlier this week that no matter what happens in South Carolina, I would continue to run for president. I'm a woman of my word. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews, and explainers. Follow the Times of India. 
subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.